Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play... Almost said Stardew Valley, but let's... Oh, not even a Let's Play, we're just here on the Spacecraft Minecraft server. Last episode, we moved ourselves over to a new area, uh, where we'll start working on our personalized kingdom and home for this season. And I spent some time AFK at the fish farm last night. Unfortunately, something happened, as, as always, when you do it overnight, it just doesn't seem to last or work, or something messes up. And I didn't look like I spent very long here, maybe, maybe an hour, didn't really get that much stuff. In fact, this afternoon while I was uh, packing up some stuff um, and, and cleaning the apartment a little bit because they're coming to paint my walls and I have to head home for um, some family stuff, graduations and all that good stuff happening this time of year. So I got to go spend some time at home. And while I was doing that today, I spent some time AFK and I spent probably like two hours. I did much better off than I did last night. Uh, of course, I took everything out of here. But I also realized my sounds are still off from, there we go, much better uh, from when I was here. So I just want to show you, these are the three books I got. Um, I decided to keep them because one, I just, you never know when you need an unbreaking, something you'll, you'll get a good enchantment, but it won't have unbreaking. Um, punch two, I want to save that for when I can make a bow, um, an infinity punch two bow for the elytra flying. And then a protection four, I guess, because I never know when I need a protection four. And in case someone needs a power four, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it myself. I got three name tags, donated one back to the town in case someone needs it. Uh, just donated basically everything else that I got back to the town. I even got some strings, so everything's kind of, I'm kind of broken even now with the stuff that the town had loaned me uh, to finish some of these projects. You can see we got four more saddles, though. I did take some feather and cooked chicken because I forgot that we had this. There's a good bit of food in there. I've been living off basically fish and cooked meat from exploration, but there's a lot of good stuff in here, and this has been running 24-7, as it will basically continue to do so. Decided to take a little bit of wool with me, and I got three more lily pads. Um, I also went down into the mines down here, which I've actually never been down here. I thought this was just a ladder just into a junk cave, but it's actually drops down here and it goes to a big open cave system right at level 12 where everyone is basically mined and strip mined it out. However, there's lava pools right at the base of that. And I went ahead and mined 48 obsidian now uh, because we're gonna, even though there's two enchantment tables over there and uh, extra bookshelves, I thought about maybe taking one of those of the bookshelves, but then I realized, well, for the achievements, we still have to craft an enchantment table and some books. And I think we have plenty of leather and sugar cane for that. So I might take a few of the books, but um, I'm not going to take enchantment table. So I got obsidian for that. And then obsidian, because we didn't have enough to make a nice portal. We want the portals to remember to be three wide everywhere when we're building them. They're more the permanent ones. We want them to be three wide because it'll make it nice and easy. Um, nice and easy for moving horses and running the horses around because at some point... It is going to be horseback that will probably be traveling in rail lines, and if the portals are not three wide, we're all going to die. So I needed some extra obsidian uh, because the portal back home needs to be changed to a three, three wide one, and we need to go ahead and make um, a portal in here where we're going to have to go into the nether. I'm going to tunnel to our coordinates, and then I am going to make myself a nether portal because I linked up with, I believe, Skatums or Animiles portal last episode which is kind of disappointing but it's because i think skatums is so close to me um he's about a thousand away which means only less than a hundred or so in the nether i think and it just linked us up so i am going to grab because we have so many in here and i'm just going to grab and nether rack mine so easily i'm just going to i'll bring these back if i don't use them all but i'm going to bring these iron pickaxes um, and we're going to build ourselves a tunnel. I'm just going to do like a one wide tunnel for now, but eventually we'll make it larger. And I'm going to build a three by three portal at the proper coordinates so that we can have a synced up portal to the overworld that is only a close hundred block walk and spawn. Again, I boated back. It's really not that bad of a boat, boating back and forth. It takes less than five minutes, but of course, why make it take five minutes when it can take um, two minutes or a minute, 30 seconds. So let me dig out to these these uh, coordinates and we'll see if we can do this relatively easily.
Okay, so I started to go down the already made tunnel and then make my own tunnel kind of off of it. But unfortunately, there looked like there's a giant lava lake and I'd have to either go way up to the sky um, or build a big bridge to do so. And then I've decided that it might be better to have my own tunnel from the start. So in which case it will be a straight line coming across the land probably out here. I mean, it might end up being in the sky eventually, uh, as most the nether stuff probably will be, but it'll, at least there's land at this level and above if I come this way first and then this way versus that way and then across because then you've got this giant ravine to lava lake to go across. So I'm in here now. Uh, we're just going to plop this down using my handy dandy applet here that I have on my phone. We'll go ahead and see if we can do this and if it'll link up and hopefully we won't end up in some other place because if we do, that will suck. It was actually a bit farther than I thought. I forgot it was like 1,700. It was closer to 2,000 than, uh, you know, 1,000. But, moment of truth. It's calculating. It's thinking. Hey, it worked. Quick sleep. Now the question is, can we go back? And will we go to that portal? Or will we go to Skadims? And the answer is... Hey, we're back at our own. Beautiful. Okay, so that was done, and that was pretty easy to take care of. Next time I have to go back to spawn, I'll actually have a little bit of a walkway of a path here. And um, I'll light it up all the way and kind of mark it a little bit better until I start to go ahead and build a tunnel. So next up is using this obsidian to um, build this portal to a 3x3. Three three. Well, I won't worry about this portal right now because this portal might get moved to another location in here. That other portal in the nether will stay there. We know that'll be 3x3. Three three. This might end up becoming different. So we'll leave that for now. We'll save the obsidian. What I am going to do, however is um, go ahead and make my ender chest because I know that there was stuff in that and I don't have a silk touch pick yet so I have to be careful about where we place this but uh, nonetheless we'll just drop it down anyway yeah there's some of the extra stuff that I had so I'll need to build myself another chest um, yeah let's get some wood here build another chest and then we can empty our pockets out and then we can start working on some projects around here. So let's just do this for now. Just temporary. I'll um hmm. I'll be sure to bring these iron things back because I don't need all of them. I'll keep this one, but these these will go back in the ender chest to bring back next time I'm in spawn. Take this. Whoops. And all of these, which are all farmable things for the most part, those can go in here. Drop all of this. And we need another chest. Imagine that. And we should be set up. Um, not sure where this is going to go. We'll just place it here. That can go in. Okay, I think that is everything. Um, oh yeah, I think I never showed the fishing rod that I got. I talked about the bow. 
Um, no, I talked about the books. I don't think I even finished talking about the fishing rod I got. Well, anyway, I got to like 27 levels, and I used most of those levels to combine this bow to get flame on it. So now it's basically beast. I could put punch two on it, but eh, I'll just leave it as is. Um, I'll have probably a second bow where that'll have punch on it. I got a whole bunch of Unbreaking 3 fishing rods. I kind of used through some of those during the day. Last night, my one that had Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3, it broke, um, unfortunately. I was kind of expecting that to happen, but um, instead, today, I fished up this one, which had Mending on it, and I tried to look at originally combining the two, and it was, like, super expensive, but this is fine. I'll get a Luck of the Sea 3 one that I'll put on it, but what's important is that I have a mending one. So, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Lure 3. This is self-sustaining. I will no longer need another fishing rod. It'll continuously rebuild itself. However, Luck of the C3 helps you to get a little bit of the rare stuff, but at least I'm pulling in things at a higher rate with Lure, so I'm happy with it. Uh, we're going to keep this in here for when we go back to the fish farm. I'm sure at some point I'll have some AFK things here and have our own fish farm here as well. Do I have wheat? I did not bring any wheat with me, did I? I did not. But carrots? Ah, it's not, it's beets and carrots, right? So I could, yeah, here come the piggies. Here come the piggies. Come here, piggies. We'll start a farm of you guys. We'll start a farm with you guys. I never know why I never thought of using the second hand. This is perfect. Oh, wow. You wanted to get... Uh, your AI is crazy. They figured that out. So, yeah, now if, now if I stand over here, you should all come over this way, maybe. Come here. All of you. I want all of you in here. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? The fourth one's there. You can't see me through there, you silly guy. No! Go in there. No! Okay, well, you know what? This is just already turning into a disaster. I should have made fences. Animals are like the most frustrating thing in Minecraft to deal with. Gosh, darn it. What did my, where did they, what? Where did they go? They just disappeared. What, why did, why did they? I saw hearts that I didn't click on them. Why did they disappear? Well, we better start farming those two carrots. Well, I got two in there, right? So if I've got, why can't I place blocks there? I've got two in here, which means I can just breed the heck out of these guys. It means I can kill everything else for the most part. Um, well, okay, that was pigs. Let's see if there's any other animals around here, because the first thing is to always gather the animals, so then I can kill all the rest of them that I see. i got to cut some trees down, too. We've got some mushrooms. Um, let's go out here and explore the tundra a bit. I wanted to go visit the polar bears. See if we've got any out here. Oh, there's speaking of polar bears, and a cub. So this will apparently attack me, I believe, because the cub is nearby. Doesn't appear to be doing so. This is like the first 1.10 thing we've seen. How close can I get before it mauls my face? It's not attacking me at all. What if I touch the baby? Well, it's not attacking me, that's for sure. All right. Well, that was boring. I was ready to like run for my life. Oh, snow bunnies. They're so tiny. Snow bunnies. Davis yesterday saw a killer bunny. That's the first one like I've heard of in survival with people. 
Um, we can get rabbits. We need to have rabbit farms for rabbit's feet, because I've never used rabbit's feet for like anything or really even got any. So I will need to get these guys all the way back to base. Of course, they do suicide jumps. That was the problem with rabbits. They always do suicide jumps, and then they always sneak out of all the gates and glitch through everything, which was always kind of annoying. Uh, cobble over here. Was this for me? This might have been for me. I think it was for me. I think I fell. Okay. Igloos are in tundras. Uh, we could visit Skatems. Let's see which direction is Skatem. He is in this direction about a thousand. Okay, good to know. Oh! Did the baby one grow up? Can you breed? Can you breed polar bears? Can you breed polar bears? Can you have? Can you make baby polar bears? Do they make po baby polar bears in the wild? I guess the baby one clearly grew up, but now they're not attacking me. If I hit it, does it attack me? It looks like it's trying to. Oh, yep. Wow. Okay. It's definitely attacking me. Apparently, I cannot run them, and apparently you can't outswim them. How much health does this guy have? Not bad. And they still don't have a drop. Wow, that feels incomplete. When you add a new mob into a game, and then it doesn't even have a new drop, you release it in the actual version. Kind of silly to me. Okay, well, um, let me work on the base and get ourselves settled in. It's getting dark again already. And um, if I find anything exciting while I'm exploring, I'll be sure to show you guys. But I think I've got a lot of mining in my future. Definitely a lot of mining in my future. Now, the first time I was here... I saw lots of polar bears and they all had babies, but it seems like the babies are growing up and now they're not hostile anymore, which is kind of good news because we don't have to worry about those. And I wonder if at night, I haven't let mobs spawn at night yet, but we'll start seeing those other guys and get some slowness arrows, which just sounds terrible because skeletons are horrible as is, but if you get them shooting slowness arrows, that just sounds horrible. Like that is going to be instant death. Check this out. I had no idea you could do this. You can pull two animals at once um, by holding one in each hand, which is kind of nifty. Um, so with the sheep and the chicken I have here, I'll have everything but the cows and the rabbits. I can probably go work on the rabbits, but I have not seen any cows anywhere close by, which is, is fine because um, we got leather back at spawn, plenty of cows for that. So I could always bring them here if need be, or set up an automatic farm there. Uh, but here at least I got a little bit of everything in case I need it. Um, for the most part, I'm not seeing myself needing any of these animals. I'm just getting them just in case um, the sheep may be the only thing with the wool. Alright, out doing some hunting. Found um, a whole bunch of rabbits. Of course, I, I brought rabbits back to my place, so now we have those as well. But I uh, got a rabbit's foot. I'm pretty lucky. I know that they upped the drop rates of those, so it doesn't surprise me. But these are different. They're spotted rabbits. And I would love to have them. But we are like a thousand blocks from home right now, so unfortunately, the adult ones are going to die. And we're just going to see if we can get any loot from them. Oh, another rabbit's foot. Yeah, they really increased the chances of those. I mean, it was so hard to get them. Even with looting swords, I hardly ever got them. And especially now that they're a part of a potion, it's kind of like, well, is that a baby one or is that an adult one? That was a baby one. Darn it. Well, the reason I started recording is if you were looking in the background, you will have noticed it. The very first igloo I found in vanilla... They're kind of hard to see. I kept having to go on hard ground and really scan the horizon because, of course, they blend right in. But I'm guessing that this has a bed in it. And we're going to try and sleep the night away. <clears throat> Which is kind of handy. You know, finding one of these in the tundra. Spawn outside the bed. I believe that's packed ice down in the bottom. You get a redstone torch, a crafting table, a furnace. So, you know, if you're wandering through, it's a good little base to set up. Now, the real question is, of course, I'm going to take a picture of these cords first. Aw, oh, man. There's nothing underneath. We'll take the carpets. Some of them have the room underneath a dungeon that has loot and has, like, the villager and stuff in it, but it does not appear that this one does. Yeah. Nope. Well, that is a bummer. I don't. They're really pointless if they don't spawn with that. We'll leave the bed and stuff here in case, you know... We're out wandering off again and need a place to sleep. But I guess we thought we'd just take a quick look at it. So 
disappointing. There it is, off in the distance, the ice spikes. So I, th whoa. So, oh, I bet you that's Skatem's base right there. Or that's, I think Davis was here, made a temporary base, and Skatem has kind of moved into it. I wanted to see how far he was on foot. So it's about 2,000 tiles, because we got to go up to negative 1,200. No, actually, it's about 1,000 in the Z, and about 500 in the X. So 1,500 tiles, uh, which is not too crazy. I assume this is Skatem here. This is about the cords. He was in the nether. He was like, what, a negative 120 each? Or something. Um, oh, he's killed a stray. Someone has killed a stray. Someone was building with this stone as well. I see he built right at the edge of the ice spikes, which is kind of neat. Oh, um, how do we get out? Where's the exit? Here's the exit. <laughs> Let's go look at his nether portal and see if that was... And then we'll leave him a sign to say, hey, we paid you a visit. Here's where my cords are and where I live. And I'll leave that for him. I shouldn't be killing that. And, um, yeah, come pay us a visit. That's pretty neat. It looks like, you know, ice spikes are usually pretty small, but we need some packed ice. We know where to go. I assume this is the cave he came out in. Some pretty good hills in the ice spikes. Unless he built the portal up here. Oh, maybe the portal spawns in way over here. It's pretty far. I assume he's going to move his portal then. Um, or not. Oh no, it goes all the way over here. The snow is just on top of it. So if I actually try, I've kind of looped around because I wanted to run through the ice plane, uh, through the tundra. But okay, yeah, here's, this looks familiar. This looks like where we came up. I won't go all the way down, but yeah. Because he made the staircase out of nether rack coming up. So it actually looks like it warms up over here. Where there's no snow in just a normal taiga. And it does appear so. And this is in the direction of my place. Oh, look, a normal rabbit, a brown one. So in the direction of mine, I am about 1,000 this way. And then 500 that way. So back into the cold. But um, I'm going to take a looped direction back after I leave him a sign and sleep here. I'll take a loop direction back to my town, see if I find myself another igloo, and then we'll catch up. Well, I was wanted to go out and look and see if I could find a stray, and uh, I just had my first death by a mob on the server. I was running around here, and then there was a skeleton, and I half outran it, and then I came across a pack of skeletons. There was three, and I didn't know this was here, and I tried to run, and one of them just had a punch bow, and I just went flying down in here. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, the igloo was only about 200 blocks that way, and that's where I spawned. So I ended up coming right back and not finding it too difficult because I had F3 open trying to find my way home. So I knew the cords that I was at. Um, might as well get some iron while I'm here. Can always use some iron. Um, even when we had the iron farm, we needed iron. So, all right. Well. If it gets dark again on my way home, I'd like to look for Stray again, because I'd like to at least see those um, and fight them. Um, since we've seen all the other things the Tundras has to offer and the Cold Biomes have to offer in the 1.9 and 1.10 updates. Since we have not spent much time in the Cold Biomes, but um, it'll probably will be later on. Whenever someone finds a Mesa, then we'll go see all the new stuff they've added in the Mesa. Um, but, again, a lot of the stuff in 1.9 was little. It was pointless, and it was little, and we all await 1.11. Except for the structure blocks, but those weren't even pertinent to survival. Most of the stuff was just little tweaks here and there that have not had too much of an impact on actual gameplay. It looks like uh, polar bears do drop something. They drop raw fish, even if they die while burning, so kind of lame <laughs> but at least they've got something they drop and they I went up right to that big one and that did not attack me with that baby one nearby so that does not seem to be working too well at the moment um not very well at all I really want to find another igloo so I'm going to keep I'm keeping trucking even though I'm almost almost home on my way home it got very dark and I see ourselves astray oh yep he shoots slowness potions oh god Slowness errors for sure. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, now I've got slowness. Oh, God. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was right. Slowness skeletons are going to be the death. Like, they are just horrible. Okay, he's dead. Let's see if he at least dropped a slowness arrows. And he did. And this guy dropped them too. We can use those back at skeletons hauling butt after us. Oh, okay, let me try to get turned around. So we know that those are terrible and we should completely avoid them at all costs. Um, do not engage in a stray, ever. Well, I think this has been a good exploration of all of the, a whole handful of new features added to the cold biomes in 1.10, and we got set up at our new base, um, which is just over this ridge, I believe, and, um, I'll go ahead and show you if it's not too far away, but I did get rabbits, so the only thing I'm missing is cows. As I mentioned, they're all in a little base. I've got all the crops being harvested, including uh, beets, carrots, potatoes, wheat, pumpkins, just missing the melons. Got the sugar cane as well. And yeah, I can't really ask for much more at this point. I think my next task is a bunch of off-screen gathering of resources. I need to get a bunch of stone, so I'm going to definitely do some more um, mining. I did do a little bit of mining, got myself four diamonds, so I'll be able to make an enchantment table. And I also mapped out the area. This is the little valley I took over. This is all big mountain. This is the little cove uh, that you can head out to the big ocean. And this is all the tundra back here. Um, uh, I need to sleep. Um, so yeah, off-screen work is going to involve um, basically getting a bunch of stone, um, so I'll be doing some strip mining and then also going to the nether. We need glowstone. I need to explore some nether fortresses. Maybe we'll have an episode of that and that'll be it. So looking forward to that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. See you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out some more Minecraft, why not check out my Sky Factory 2 Let's Play with Zerthic and Necker by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to see something else, you can check out my Eidolon Let's Play that I'll be finishing this summer by clicking here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter down below, and then if you'd like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.